Hi little skeletons, it's Disney Queen Skelly here, and welcome back to another adding to the pin collection. So, like I said in yesterday's video regarding the adding to the photo album, I do have some bad news. So while I was packing to come here to my grandparents' house, I discovered, unfortunately, that I forgot my butterfly pins at home. So we are still going to add to the vest, however, we're going to have to deal with the Mickey Mouse back ends that these come with until I can get home and replace them with the butterfly back end. So hopefully none of these fall out while I'm here. If so, I am in deep, deep, deep doo-doo. So for those of you who did not watch my haul, I will be reintroducing you to all the pins I bought at Downtown Disney. So we're going to start with uh, these guys. It's the World of Evil pins. And I was hoping to get Hades, which is the only reason I purchased it, but I unfortunately did not get him. So the pins I did get are Stromboli, Queen of Hearts, Maleficent, Judge Claude Frollo, or Frodo, however you pronounce it, and Lady Tremaine. So we're going to add those to the vest. Alright, so the next pin that we are going to add to the vest is my I Am Groot pin. Oh, these have different back ends. Cool. They probably still don't work. <laughs> next pin we are going to be adding is my Aurora pin, one of my Aurora pins. Oh, see, now this one has the Mickey back end. I wonder if some of them have like different back ends depending on which pin you get. Could be a possibility. All right, next pin we are going to be adding to the vest is my Pinocchio pin with the moving limbs. Next pin we are going to be adding is my Coco pin. Next pin we are going to be adding is my second Aurora pin. Next pin we are going to be adding is my Graveyard Jamboree pin. Let me read you what it says. The Graveyard Jamboree. Come out and socialize. Join us in the Graveyard Mortals Welcome, a swinging wake featuring the ghostly quintet Phantom Five performing their graveyard hits with special ghost performances by the Merry Minstrels. Next pin we're going to be putting on the vest is my anger management pin. Next pin we are going to be adding to the vest is my join the resistance pin. Um, so a couple reasons why I've picked out the ones that I have in case you guys don't know much about me. Aurora is my favorite Disney princess. I also have a big anger problem which is why I got the anger management pin. Pinocchio is my favorite classic Disney movie and I just love Haunted Mansion. <laughs> And also Groot is my favorite Marvel character. And as you guys know, I'm part of the resistance. Kind of sucks sometimes because Harley Baby and Hubby are part of the First Order, so we just kind of <laughs> Next pin we're going to be adding is my one of my Disney Collections pins. So it's the uh, castle, and then inside is a picture of Walt Disney. And it has the quote, it's kind of fun to do the impossible. I've always wanted pins like this. I just think they're absolutely beautiful. All right, guys, next pin we are going to be adding is my Pirates of the Caribbean pin. I do like Pirates of the Caribbean, but I feel like I need to rewatch the movies in order to really get a feel for what they are because I've seen the part of the first movie, but I really kind of just stopped because action movies aren't really my thing. But I'm definitely going to give it another chance because Harley Baby really likes Pirates of the Caribbean, and I am in love with Captain Jack Sparrow. And I've met him a couple times at Disneyland, and not to mention Pirates of the Caribbean is a very, very fun attraction to go on. So I definitely want to give the um, movies more of a chance. All right, next pin we are adding to the vest is my Jack is Back pin. Of course, anyone who knows me knows I love Jack Skellington, and I had to get a Jack Skellington pin. Next pin we're going to be adding to the vest is my Disney Pride pin. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I actually am a uh, bisexual. Uh, if I ever find a Disney Pride bisexual pin, I will get that too. Alright guys, the next pin we are going to be adding to the vest is my official conscience badge, 18 karat gold, certified by Mr. Jiminy Cricket himself. I cannot tell you how excited I am to get back home and add the butterfly pins to these. These are like, putting these on is so challenging and it's making me nervous because I'm scared they're all going to fall off. Next pin is going to be the Disneyland ticket pins. So this one is um, when Disneyland used to have their tickets in order to get onto the attractions. So the A through E tickets. And it says, 
We hope that your visit with us today will be a happy and memorable experience. This ticket book is your passport to many wonderful adventures in the happiest place on earth. May your day at Disneyland be pleasant and be a pleasant one. Return and visit us again soon. Walt Disney Productions. I've wanted I've been wanting this one for a long time, so I'm I'm happy I finally have it. These are moving around way too much for my comfort. <laughs> and the last pin we are going to add to the vest is my this is appropriate official pin trading pin even though I haven't found any pins that I want to trade yet. Those will go on probably a separate vest or a lanyard or something and so I can switch them out. Alright guys, so uh, I'm going to bring the camera towards here so you guys can see what the vest looks like now. Alright guys, so this is now how the vest looks. It looks amazing. As you guys can tell, I am trying to fill up the right side before we go to the left side. And it looks like that's going to be done fairly, fairly soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys are enjoying the fact that I am filling up this vest little by little. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye little skeletons. Stay safe. I love you guys.